Hi, my name is Methat Al Masri, and today's video is about using the free Quick Grid Blazor component with the new static server rendering Blazor application. This is the website for the Quick Grid Blazor component. You can find a lot of resources here, and in fact, this is the GitHub repo for this project. It's an open source project. You have a lot of examples on how to use it. I'll just show you a few things. And the intention here is to show you how easy it is to use this component. So let us get started. We're going to first create a Blazor application. So that would be .NET new Blazor. And let's call our application Blazor quick grid. The app has been created, so let's go into that directory. Now, we can open up this application in VS Code. I am typing here code dot and it should open it up. Here it is. Because I'm going to use some sample data, I will create a student class here in a models folder. So I'll create a folder called models and in here I'll create a new C sharp class and I'll call it student. And in this student class, I will add some code. I'm going to delete what we have here and paste this code. So what we've got here is simply a student class that consists of an ID, first name, last name, and a school. And down here, there's a method called get students. And this method simply produces some sample data. I'm instantiating here a list of students and they are about 45 students. The reason I have so many students is because I want to show you later on how we can use paging as we list these students. To use the quick grid component, all you have to do is add this package here. Microsoft ASP.NET Core Components Quick Grid. So let us add this package to our application. The next thing I'm going to do is add these two namespaces to my imports razor file. So I'm going to take these and put them here. What's left for us to do is to simply use this quick grid component. So I will do that in the home.razor page. I'll delete this and paste this. So the route is simply the home page and we will add render mode interactive server. The page title is simply students and here I have a h1 tag with students and this is how you use the quick grid component and the students data simply comes from this class, the students class. And of course, as we saw before, we've got a static get students method. So this is being called from here. It returns a list of students. And we're going to bind this list of students to the quick grid. And here is where you bind each column to a specific field in the list of students. So the first column is the ID. The second column is the first name. Then you have last name and you have school. So if we run the application as expected, we're going to see a list of students. Now what's interesting here is you can sort each column by clicking on the column title. So this is by itself a quick win by just using the quick grid component. Let's see if we can do anything else. For example, let's say we want to do some pagination. To do pagination where we want a new page for every 10 items in the list, you would enter this code down in this section here. So I'm gonna take this code, put it down here. Now to tell the quick grid that we want to use pagination, we're going to set the pagination property 
to this variable which is pagination i'll put an at before it and basically this tells it that it should use pagination next step is to actually use the pagination control now that you do by typing in a paginator and set the state to this let's see what we get here so i'm going to go back to my terminal window and hit A for always load. Now, if we go to our page, here it is. We get our pagination. And we have 46 items, and we can paginate through sets of 10 items. One last thing I'd like to show you in this quick tutorial is how to template columns. For example, Let's say I want to combine first name and last name columns into just name. So that means that I will have to replace these two columns, first name and last name, with a template column. So let's delete this and I will add a templated column which looks like this. So here I'm saying I have a template column. The title of that column is simply name and I'm going to display in this column the first name and the last name, as simple as that. What we have here is simply CSS styling. Now let's see what we've got. Go back into our application and there you can see that we have a name column, but we do have a problem. Like in the case of ID, we can sort it in the case of school, we can sort it, but we do not seem to be able to sort the name column. So let us fix that. The solution is to introduce a variable in our code telling the quick grid how to go about sorting that particular column. So here we're going to have code that says to sort the name, you need to sort by ascending first name, then last name. And this method is going to be called sort by name. So let's take this and put it in the code of our Blazor page right here. And then the next step is to tell the template column that this is the mechanism it should use for sorting the column. So you put in the property sort by equals to and the name of the variable sort by name, which is the same name of the variable we created here. Let's see if it works now. Now we can sort by ID and we can also sort by name and we can sort by school. There is much more you can do with the quick grid I recommend that you go to their site and look at the many examples that they give you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.